French cut glass, a canopy, a wedding cake or Venetian Murano's. Chandeliers are timeless. Derived from the French word chandelle, chandelier essentially means candle holder. First created in the 11th century, they were just decorative ceiling mounted lights. But over time, they became popular in palaces and homes of nobility. Their high cost making them a symbol of luxury and status. Originally, they used to be made of wood, uh, square or round pieces with candles to light them. They were used in the houses of the royalty and in places of worship and uh, in public buildings. In India, chandeliers seem to have been uh, very important from the 15th century onwards, where they were very popular with the royalty for the princes and the maharajas for the palaces and havelis. You'll find the world's largest bohemian crystal chandelier, a gift from Queen Victoria, at the Dolmabash Palace in Istanbul. It has 750 lamps and weighs four and a half tons. In India, chandeliers lit up through the times of the Maharajas. Whether we talk about the Lalgar Palace of Bikaner, the Chaumahalla Palace in Hyderabad, or the Ranbaka Palace in Jodhpur, which is now a heritage hotel, all these palaces were regally done up with glittering chandeliers. In the 19th, 18th and 19th century, some of the most important buyers of the world were from India. A lot of the royal families, to name a few, the royal family of Gwalior and the royal family of Baroda, and also the Nizam of Hyderabad. They were the most important buyers in the world. During the British Raj, international chandelier companies started looking for new markets and sources of revenue. Initially, they came down to exhibit their products to the Maharajas, but soon, with the advent of lead crystals, companies like St. Louis and Baccarat opened branches to better cater to local taste. More complex and elaborate chandeliers continued to develop through the 18th and 19th centuries, and today, they found places in contemporary Indian homes. Basically, we use brass, we use steel, we use aluminum also like you know we use copper also and then there are three two there is one gold process also there is antique also been done if you're a lover of the regal chandelier go ahead there are a host of options to infuse them into a modern home but be careful not to go over the top lighting something is very difficult because if you over light it it can become too in your face um, so you have to maintain the subtlety but at the same time give the importance to the piece that it deserves. More and more chic designs happening everywhere. The chandeliers fit into every kind of home perfectly, including modern homes. Uh, nowadays we do a lot of projects where the house is absolutely straight line, including the furniture, but the owners or the designers like to add a little bit of classical touch or do a little twist in the tail by adding a completely classic chandelier and the result has been outstanding every time. Whether classic or contemporary, our love for chandeliers has been evident over the years through Hollywood. Whether it's Mughal-e Azam, Hum Aapke Hai Kaun, Om Shanti Om, or the very recent Bombay Velvet, a grand set almost always will have a chandelier. And don't be surprised if it resembles the facade of Mumbai's iconic Eros Theatre. The glittering chandeliers there were created by this man. In Bombay Velvet, it was a very interesting process for me. They wanted the entire, th entire thing to be done by one person and they wanted, and their set was at Colombo. So they wanted uh, till Colombo and installation, means from making till packing and till installation. Everything has to be done by one person. The chandelier image, what they had provided me, it was of that era only. It was of that 1950 era. We don't know whether it was a crystal or it was a glass. All the fittings we made samples and we showed to them. Of course, synonymous with crystals is Swarovski. And they are leaders in the crystal chandelier space. The ones with the cascading chains of crystals intermingled with strands of LED giving the effect of a waterfall, especially at resplendent weddings. Uh, it really works well when we understand what the bride and groom really want, what symbols matter to them in the most personal way. But the price points for these are rather steep. Each one of these starts from a minimum of 3 lakh rupees. If it demands in S4, it's one in Sauroski, it's very costly. 
and if you go for a lower range you know where you get uh, canine crystals or say china crystals and all so there is there so there is lot of you know variations are there so you can say from 10000 to 1 lakh and ahead expect the focus on more bespoke designs colors and cuts there has been development of technologies like leds and things like that but the main thing is going to be chandeliers with bespoke sizes and colors as far as we see